Welcome to the Atrax 2.0 launch tutorial. This video will provide you with an overview of the new platform, show you how to search for your gauges, run reports, and access your certificates. When you first log in, you should land at the home screen, and you will have a list of gauge searches. I can search by all my active gauges, all gauges, or any of these other methods below. You have a reports tab where you can look at things that are coming due, or things that you have been calibrated in the past couple of days, as well as things that are overdue or failed. There are some additional tabs here across the top, such as accessing things that are coming up for training, uh, our sales website, uh, you can download our scopes of accreditation, and some other things here. Primarily though, you'll be working with the gauge searches and the reports tab as users. So most users want to know, how do I access my certificates? The fastest way to do that is going to be to access the Reports tab. Click on Calibrations Performed in the last 30 days. This is going to show you everything that has been performed in the last 30 days. You could click on each one of these pieces of equipment and go to them and download their calibration records if you wanted to. But if you just wanted to download all of these certificates at one time, you simply have to navigate to the bottom where it says Print Selected Equipment print certificates, and in this case I'm going to select all equipment. You could highlight equipment if you just want to grab certain chunks. I'm going to download the calibration events, and in this case I want to download them to a zip file. You could send them directly to your printer. Uh, in this case I just want to download to them to a zip file. It will ask you to name the zip file, which should default to your own name. A file will be downloaded in the bottom left corner of your screen, which you can then click to open. And it will show you all of the PDFs for all of the calibration events that have been performed in the last 30 days. So that's going to be the quickest way to get your PDFs, um, to get to them um, without having to drill into individual pieces of equipment. If I did want to look at individual pieces of equipment though, we do have our home tab on the left and then we have our equipment view on the bottom. If I wanted to look for a specific gauge, I can search by ID and it will take me directly to the piece of equipment that I'm looking for or any of the other various methods. Once you are on your equipment view, we can see that I am on Assurance Technologies, I am on G213 Gauge ID. I have some navigational options here to go to left and right in the navigational queue. I can also look at the last 10 things that I have been on with this button right here. So it's a quick way to flip back and forth between gauges. You can search for other gauges through this quick access bar right here. Um, down below though we can see our gauge descriptors for 213. This is a caliper, has some other information. We got our gauge notes, it is an active gauge. Um, we have our co cost and everything else over here. Down below, we see the history of the gauge and the scheduling of the gauge. So on my history tab, I can see that this gauge, G213, has had calibration events run uh, for the past several years. I have 715, 2021, 2020, 2019, um, and each one of these has a PDF associated with them. So if I click on this calibration line event right here, I have a PDF over to the right that I can double click on and that will be the actual calibration PDF for that calibration. So that's how you would look at your history for individual gauges by clicking on the history tab. If I want to look at my scheduling for this um, gauge, I can click on scheduling. So I can see here I have a calibration schedule of 24 months and a maintenance schedule of 12 months on this gauge. So it will alert me uh, on these dates that these are coming due. That is how to access your gauges and how to run reports in the new ATRAC system. We will be adding a lot of things to these screens over the coming weeks. Um, uh, options for Premier users and a lot of other things. Uh, please give us your feedback on reports you would like to see or different kinds of views uh, that you would want to see in your grids. There's lots of customization options available to us, um, so it's just a matter of getting some feedback to see what you guys like best, and we can kind of customize things um, to make them best for you. Uh, thank you for your time.